welcome to my World Junior Sim in NHL 22. And man, start of something great. Uh, I'm almost done rosters. And, uh, you know, I have like a few teams left. I'm just going to sim the first few games here. So first things first. We're going to have fin Finland versus Germany right here. Germany heavy underdogs. And... Man, it, it was a very, a very close game, so uh, let's recap it here. So the Germans here, with 15 minutes left, 5 minutes in, are going to attack, shot on net, rebound, not able to be controlled by the defender, and Bennett Rosemi is going to bury it. Very, very lucky rebound, and it's one to nothing Germany against all odds. So a good start here for Germany. As you see, and right off the bat, right off the bat after the goal, the Finns try to attack, try to uh, clap back immediately here. Lambert in front, pass not controlled, a very, very weird rebound there, and not able to be buried. He had an open net as well. The Germans, though, nice chance here. Merlinen's gonna shut the door. Other attack right here, Rosemi. Misses an open net, not able to shoot. And the score remains 1-0 Germany. Another attack here with three minutes left here. A nice forward check by Alexander Blank. Blank shoots, save, rebound. Leonard is going to score. And, and it's also the one who caused a turnover, which led to that odd man rush right here. So 2-0 what a start for the Germans. Right there. And the first period isn't even over yet. Start of the second. 13 minutes left here. V very quiet game until uh, until that. Shot. Save. A bad goal. Let in by Mary Linen. Volek hasn't... He barely even shoots. He barely even touches the puck. But the goal is still credited to him. Justin Volek. Is going to score the third goal for Germany. And it is 3-0. What a surprise to start off the tournament right here. And with one minute left, it looks very, very unlucky, uh, uh, unlikely. The Finns got completely dominated in the, in the tournament opening right there. Extreme, just complete dominance. Shots were doubled coming into the third period. And Rutowski, Rutowski is going to bury it 4 to nothing, 4 to nothing, Germany. And so the Finns didn't play a, a good game at all. Constantly dominant. Couldn't even score one goal on Florian Bugel. And now you have the Germans who are going to pick up a win in the first game. In the first game. It's only the first game, but Finland, you cannot play like that if you wish to really go far in this tournament, especially drop these type of games. So, man. And as you see the highlights here, uh, a lot of pluses. Rosemary led the way right here. Giebel and Pilu were plus four. Uh, Florian Bugel got a shutout, and on the Finn side, minus three for Jarventi, minus three for Camel, uh, minus two for Nurmi, eight ninety seven for Mirilainen. Okay, second game of this video and second game of the tournament as well. Russia versus Sweden, highly anticipated matchup. You have two elite goalie prospects right here, Yaroslav Askarov. Facing off against Jesper Wallstead for Sweden. And uh, you have a lot of very exciting prospects from both sides. Mavte Mishkov from, uh, from Russia. Guys like Daniela Yurov. And more on... on and on, on Sweden, you have a lot of guys here. You have a lot of guys. Eklund. Uh, Liesel. And, and as you see here, the first chance went to uh, went to Marat Marat Kuzhudinov. 
Nice save by Wallstead. He grabbed his own rebound, surprisingly. But Wallstead still saved it. And uh, first chance here for for Sweden. Turnover by... Uh, you have a turnover by the D-man here. Akistad loses the puck. Battling for it. Puck is loose again. Akistad gives it to Liesel. Comes out of nowhere and shoots and scores. And that's going to make it the first goal of the game. Fabian Liesel is going to snipe it. A bit in traffic. It looked a bit... In, yeah, it looked a bit in traffic. No chance for Askarov. Went in the right place. Again, a goal off a turnover. Uh, and, and Russia's going to pay. Russia's going to pay. Fabian Liesel is going to open up the score right here. And right off the face-off. Right off the face-off. You, you already have a, a bad play. A bad turnover in the neutral zone. Isaac Rosen is going to walk in and shoot. Nice save by Askarov. Eklund. Nice chance. Askarov says no. And again, you have a bad a bad turnover. You can blame Kursanov and at the same time Askarov. But Kursanov lost the puck right there when he fully had control. Uh, Daniel Lundgren. Is going to back and walk into the slot and score. So miscommunication right there. Another goal off a turnover. And that's going to make it 2 to nothing for for Sweden. And you, 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 you just have to you just have to be careful. have to be careful, man. Be careful. You can't turn over the puck like that. Chris of the Kings prospect. Really didn't learn from it. And uh, it's two goals off a turnover. Two goals. And it's 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 unacceptable, unacceptable once again. Second period right here, still two nothing. You see a nice chance here by Fabian Lisel. Save by Askarov. And uh, we're heading to the third because it's been a very quiet game, very quiet game. Zlodoyev, nice nice toe save by uh, by Wallstead right there, and the puck's gonna get dumped. The, the Russians are making a push. They're pulling their goalie. Doesn't really work out. Uh, they aren't aggressive enough. And as you see here, Sweden easily. Ak Akestad is going to make it 3 0. The insurance goal. And then that's going to bring in the win for Sweden right there. Nice effort win uh, a game where Russia did not have a lot of chances Sweden was buzzing all over the place you had guys like Lissell Eklund all flying right there just just all all flying all over the place just really dominating you, you didn't see much of, of, of guys like Mishkov you didn't see much of their of their big guns so a good game, a very very good game defensively by Sweden, looking very very strong. They're shutting down big guns right there. I expected a, I expected a Russia win. I expected a Russia win, but it does look like Sweden is a stronger team, especially defensively. Russia's team looks very very weak defensively. Uh, they decided not to take a lot of good good Russian players who who play in North America but man stats here a lot of minuses minus three a lot of minus minuses from uh from Sweden plus three from the entire second line and shout out for Wallstead shout out for Wallstead Askrov still had a 941 so still a good game from him Okay, next game here, the last one, Team Canada going to face off Team Czech Republic. Again, highly anticipated first game for Canada, stacked team, Sebastian Casa, Red Wings prospect, is in net for this game. Jan Bednar, uh, another Red Wings prospect, by the way, just way worse. So, 
This is the matchup right here of goalies, the goaltenders. Uh, pretty much the best option for uh, for for uh, Czech Republic right here. So the game is underway here right off the bat. You have Canada attacking. As expected, you're expected to dominate when you're Team Canada in this situation. Conor Bedard behind the net. You have your Perfetti, Owen Power, Perfetti, back to Perfetti. Sibrango going to miss the net right here. But it's not over. It's not over. There's going to be a turnover here. David Spasek. No, there isn't, by the way. No, there's going to be a turnover. Uh, turnover. But another chance right here. A nice stop by Bednar. Ivan Ivan is gonna is gonna miss the net right here. It's gonna hit the post actually. He's gonna hit the post. Barely hit the post, but still. Nice glove save here by Sebastian Casa right here. Uh, a, a very nice looking one, so I might as well include it on on Brabernek. and himself. Bednar is gonna have himself his his nice glove save right there. So it's pretty quiet here. Second period, you have McTavish with a chance. Bednar shuts him down. Uh, nice little breakaway chance, and Bednar closes the door here. Shane Wright. He's had the most scoring chances this game. Right, and it, it, it's, it's probably his best scoring chance right there. Bednar's going to shut the door twice. And uh, end of the period here. Turnover on the dump in. Ryan O'Rourke is going gonna to snipe it in traffic. And it's going to go in. Team Canada's first goal of the tournament goes to Ryan O'Rourke out of everybody. And it's it's off, it's off, it's, it's off a turnover. Very nice forward check right there uh, by the Canadians. Just forcing them to make mistakes. And uh, the puck was loose for, for, for out of everybody. Just snipes it in traffic. No chance for Bednar. Third period right now here. Bedar walks in. And surprisingly, that was a save. That was not a missed net. Bedar actually shot it in in net. But it was it was a save. And as you see here, what a save. Probably the play of the tournament so far. Jan Bednar is going to absolutely rob Kent Johnson right there. Just a nice cross crease save. And after that, the plays go goes the other way. And you have Czech Republic going to get their best chances of the game right here. Nice save here. Both saves. Both nice saves. Another rebound right there. Casa making the saves he needs. Another guy is going to walk in. Nice save again. Uh, you're going to have Czech Republic that pretty much kills their chances right there by icing the puck. Very not good, and uh, it looks like Canada is gonna grab the dub by this icing. But the last two minutes have been very, very intense. Pretty much the best moments, back and forth, back and forth hockey. Uh, the game overall was very well paced. It was very nice pace. Uh, just a lot of chances by Canada, and as you see here, in, in the last seconds, uh, you're gonna see Storidev get a goal right here. Off a of cross crease, no chance for Bednar. And uh, that's going to be the game. Really, s scoring or not scoring, it, it's. Canada still wins the game because they're in their zone, in the offensive zone with four seconds left with the lead. So, but yeah, it's. It, it's, it's I'm going to call it stat padding. Canada's going to get the dub 2 0. Next game is going to be against Austria. Uh, Czech Republic, their next game, their next game is going to be against Germany. So an easier matchup right there. Uh, they're going to look to get the dub here. Stats, very, very much nothing for, 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 uh, Czech Republic. They've been shut down. Plus one for Surdiv, a lot of guys right there. A lot of plus ones. Goaltending wise, Jan Bednar had a 9.39 save percentage. What a game. Casa gets the shutout. So that's the end of the video here. Subscribe if you're new. Click the like button. Next, next video, I'm going to sim. Uh, I'm going to sim USA 
versus Slovakia. It's it's gonna be more, you know, probably no commentary, but just more highlights as well because it's only one game. 